Um, face. I think you mean hello Essen enthusiasten. If you couldn't tell, that's German for hello food enthusiasts. Yeah, I know. But so, do you really? <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm South Sea Dragon. This is my guest, Cosmos Cat. Hi. And today, we'll be telling you about some very interesting things that go on with the food in Germany. Like how they eat innocent, adorable body rabbits in a dish called Hassenpfeffer. Just so sad. It took you forever to figure out how to pronounce that off oh, camera, yeah. uh, but no, not not like even camera. Like we don't use we don't use camera, but off mic. It's That's right. Forever. That uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's get on with the information. While German food is very German, it is actually part of a much larger cultural cuisine area. Yeah, but you, the way you said larger. That was weird. Larger. Also, why are you speaking in a British accent? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Okay. Pinkies up, teacups in hand. That is so wrong, no. This regional area that he was talking about, it consists of Poland, Germany, the Czech Republic, Bavaria, Austria, and Switzerland. Obviously, Germany is the only one we're going to be really highlighting in today's video, but yeah. So every year, on average, an average German individual person, I guess, consumes over 132 pounds of raw meat. I mean, raw solid meat. Probably straight from the probably, cow. Probably, <laughs> probably just not. Murders the cow and then shears it and then eats it. Did you just say shears? I mean, you don't else, shear cows. I mean, how else do they do it? They like skin it. Okay, so probably not raw meat, but 132 pounds of just meat, and Never that had means. Meat. You're not German though, so. Yes, I like, am. I'm like. You don't live in Germany. That's what I mean. This oh. mean that thing means that by the time that you're 20 years old, you'll have eaten about one ton of meat if you live in Germany, and you're the average German individual. That is a lot of meat. So soups. Germans actually really enjoy soups and stews. Their national dish is Kartoffelsuppe. I think I have probably just botched that. No, you no. Which, which literally translates to potato soup. The potatoes are often not even the main ingredients. What psychopath calls something potato soup? Even though it very often doesn't even have soup as oh. Cosmo did dumb. <laughs> Isn't, like, yeah, in one of the recipes, anyway, that I read, it was, like, adding potatoes for extra flavor. Flavor in potatoes is mushiness. That's all you get from potatoes. Uh, mushiness? Mushy. Mushiness isn't a flavor? Yes. <laughs> this is going great. Yes. So, in Germany, breakfast is actually a lot bigger of a thing than it is in the Mush. U.S. Can you, like, <laughs> not? Sure. And so Germans will sometimes have guests over for breakfast. I know most Americans probably won't even be camera ready by breakfast. Not they won't even camera ready, just life ready. <laughs> probably still gonna be in bed scrolling through TikTok or something. Ugh. Anyway, sometimes they even continue their breakfast period into lunch, which is just so wrong, but at least Germans do have a high value for their lunch times so they're not they don't take lunch times completely for granted even though they don't value that that period of time graciously given to us as much as i do or anyone at the big foods does but anyway you're really drawing this segment out yep although germany is known for its beer the country is also big on wine like squishing grapes oh yeah <laughs> coffee and plain fresh drinking water just said to be some of the best in the world so if you ever go to germany get out your excavation tools find a pool of water underground and take some good sips yeah so that's what you should do if you're in germany i guess or you could just move to germany to get some of that nice crystal crystal comforts Gumperts, Crystal Gumperts. That's an inside joke, quote unquote. Anyway. 
I mean, we are both inside. <laughs> wow. Wow, Cosmo. Just, just wow. Germany is also the third best farming country in Europe, and it's the home of gummy bears and some very rich chocolate. Big, big money stacks. <laughs> yes, big money stacks. The bottom line of German food is that it is made of mostly meat and potatoes. Oh, and bread. Bread is good. We at the Big Foods love bread, right, Cosmo? Yeah, bread is great. Yeah. Bread! Support your nearest- Gluten! Unless you're gluten-free, then it's gluten-free bread. Yeah, support your nearest bread company today. The Bread Foundation. I don't know. I'm just gonna brand my entire company the Bread Foundation. <laughs> anyway, currywurst is a beloved German snack. Famous in Berlin. Made of some delicious french fries and... <laughs> spicy. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. So he wasn't very clear about that. It sounded like he said curdwurst in balloon. So it, currywurst. It's famous in Berlin. But the thing he's crying about is actually he loves ketchup. But one thing he cannot stand is when people quote unquote mess ketchup up. And spicy ketchup is not his thing. So anyway, it's made of fries, spicy ketchup, mushed together with sliced up sausage. It's apparently some sort of on-the-go food there, and it's even there's even National Currywurst Museum in central Berlin. But really, you need to get your act together, Cosmo. Pull yourself together. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Haribo is part of a scheme where children trade acorns for gummy bears. Isn't that nice? Over to various national parks to feed the squirrels. Yeah, we'll insert some adorable squirrels munching on acorns here to make Cosmo feel better. Cosmo's cat. So, for our final little tidbit of information. Are they juicy? <laughs> yes, it is a very juicy tidbit. In Germany, they have 1,500 types of beer, 300 types of bread, and 1,000 types of sausages. These aren't just brands or whatever the pyramid is not balanced <laughs> pyramids illuminati <gasps> don't no the music is copyrighted so what he said their food pyramid is not balanced but these aren't just brands these are different varieties of isn't that crazy to you no well we have some stuff to talk about before we get to the fun food facts Four things specifically, and we're trying to get through them as quickly as possible so we can- actually... Rapid fire mode! Go! <laughs> okay, so first of all, I gotta talk about- Did I just say I gotta talk? I am going to talk about- I gotta! I gotta do it! Sorry, I said rapid fire mode. Rapid fire mode. We're talking about fun food facts. So I have a brand new schedule that's gonna help me balance things- fresh. Way better. <laughs> Not fresh, please no. I have to balance things these days because I have I'm so like many things to do with the big food foods. Pyramid. <laughs> no, no. Really, really, Cosmo. So, I'm going to be releasing fun food facts every time I release a new food around the world video. I haven't talked about this with Rashab, but hopefully he's okay with that. This is going to help me do this a lot better so you can expect fun food facts at a much more... Um, like, in an actual schedule, whereas I was just releasing them randomly, sporadically, whenever I had bursts of energy to do them. But there's definitely going to be a Fun Food Facts article out at the time of this, maybe even before it, depending on... I haven't written it yet, obviously, because we're just recording this now. But look forward to that. If you've already read it by the time you're watching this, thank you so much. It's on the Big Foods, www. slash slash whatever, bigfoods.com. And with that, I'll hand it over to Cosmos Cat to talk about our shorts. Shorts. Watch them, love them. One of our most viewed videos is a short. On to the next segment. Okay, yeah, but just talk about that short. Please don't watch it. It has terrible editing. All of our other shorts, though, they're good. I most of them. Waddle over to your arm. Slap it. <laughs> That's weird. You should watch I it. I need to talk about our world record. Go. So, 
You should know the Big Foods slideshow if you're a fan of the Big Foods. He's gesturing to me. So, Big Foods slideshow, world record, longest slideshow in the world, if you can believe it. We've actually talked about this, and it's official. We actually do have the longest slideshow. We've talked to world records. And so, we have the longest slideshow in the world. And so, we need to... Uh, get money for this surprisingly so to get our world record we need five thousand dollars and so we can use <laughs> the world record name so we need you guys to chip in if you can so that the big foods can actually have a world record because wouldn't that be crazy if you could contribute to that that would be crazy it would be awesome finally our last thing some really amazing juicy tidbit yeah a lot of amazing stuff has been going on behind the scenes and i think it's finally time for us to talk about it just don't give away too much because we're probably going to do a, a whole video about this later on but cosmo can you tell us a little bit about it we're getting two new interns possibly i mean i mean one, one of them, them is we have already hired the other yeah, we're thinking about it so i mean not supposed to give too much away, but I mean, it's gonna be cool. So, I mean, on to the next fun food fest. First of all, one of them, his name is Joey. He runs a channel called JTJ. He's hasn't made any new videos on the big foods yet, but if you want to see what his content is like before he, he literally got hired the day before we recorded this. Yep. So he's going to be on the YouTube committee, so you're going to be seeing a lot of him if you're a fan of YouTube. But anyway, check out his content. He's about at the same level as we are in terms of subscribers, but he actually makes some he's really- He's got 32! <laughs> yep. So, now that we've gone off on all those tangents, let's hear the fun food facts. In some parts of Germany, beer is considered a food! Specifically Berlin. It's- weird it's not considered a drink it's literally a food you order food and it's beer just munching on that beer does that mean you have to chew it okay we're going on another tangent continue with the facts we don't want to draw this video out too long <laughs> well the first oktoberfest if you know what that is it's basically a big fest where uh, originated in germany where people get the october beer in and case you didn't know October in Germany is spelled with a K. It's very interesting, yeah. But yeah, they eat good food and bring out the October beer. But the first one was a royal wedding of this crown prince and some like noble lady, I don't know. And that's an interesting fact, I don't know. So Okay. This is crazy. People thought that J F K John F. Kennedy said that he was a jelly donut. He was standing on the Berlin Wall and said that he was a Berliner. Or something like that. Which in some places is also known as a jelly donut. Yeah, and that's just crazy. So the, the next one. The news people all around the world reported the breaking news. President John F. Kennedy has said on top of the Berlin Wall. I'm a kitty. I'm a jelly donut. Yay. So, Germans eat large noodles. <laughs> yes. So, in Germany, it's very common to eat thick type of noodles, in, noodles in their pasta, which are of a larger variety than in Italy, actually. Like, these are different in many ways, and they have very interesting pasta. Just look it up or... Go to Germany yourself, and you'll get to take a little taste of their cuisine. So? Classic German donuts don't have holes. Th I think they just started the holes in America so that they could save money. And yeah. Yeah. Probably not, actually. But okay. On to the next one. Come on. Wouldn't it be amazing, though, if donuts didn't have holes? I mean, obviously, jelly donuts don't. <laughs> JFK was a jelly donut. It's okay. I just realized we talked on about- On to the next one. We're talking a lot about donuts in this video. Anyway, our last fact, German bread names. I feel like we have to talk about this because my mouth's getting dry, but I really need to talk about these German bread names. So one of them is Roggenmischbrot, 
Then there's Weissbrot, Volkornbrot, Weisenmischbrot, and Merkornbrot. Those are just five random breads that we, breads? Types of bread that we selected for this video, but you really need to look at some of the names of German foods in general. They're crazy. German words are fun. Yeah. And that just about wraps up today's video. Hopefully you liked it and you learned some new random facts. I'd like to thank Cosmo's Cat for joining us today. Hopefully we'll be able to have him back on the show soon. Did you have a good time, Cosmo? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Thanks for having me. Like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have had or seen a child. Uh, sorry. Uh, want to see more in more me me in more of these food around the world. I, did a dump. Are you okay there? No. Oh. I think he was trying to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe, which is very important. But yeah, That's I don't. Exactly what it means. I don't know where the child came from, but does anyone really? But anyway, just came from Walmart. Just to let you guys know, in about two or three weeks, Rashab and I should be doing the next insult installment of the series, which is going to be Food Around the World India. With all that stuff said, do you want to say the Rashab thing or should I? I think we should do it at the same time. Okay, thank you guys all for watching, and three, two, one, PEACE! peace!